Alright, welcome back to my next touch designer tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how to um, create a depth of field or tilt shift effect in touch designer. And I'm going to show you that using two different techniques, one more elaborated and one uh, a bit simpler. And um, I simply made this rather simple um, rendering setup here using a grid uh, and a noise and also uh, a material that also has like this noisy field on it just so we can see the where it's sharp and blurred uh, more well and just a level and transform here at the end and I'm just gonna dive right in so I'm gonna start with inserting a luma blur here because uh, for both techniques we're gonna use this to create the um, tilt shift effect all right, so I'm going to show you the simpler te technique first that it is simply uh, using a RAM for this. So I'm just going to simply explain what the Luma Blur does. So the Luma Blur takes one input, um, in this case the, the render directly, and it's going to blur this input using um, like using the data from the second input. So uh, the data meaning um, values between like black and white basically or like colors between black and white so wherever it's black it's gonna be um it's gonna be sharp and wherever it's white it's gonna be more blurred so knowing this we can now drop a ramp in here and i'm gonna make this ramp the same size as this so i'm just gonna drop in this little python expression op and then speak to this render so p render one dot width and just copy and paste that in here and then put height in here so we have the same as there all right now i'm gonna um use a like just connect this here already and now i'm gonna change this um, to a vertical type and put this here because you can't actually move this first slider I'm going to change this to white and this to black and now I'm going to change the white filter width to something higher so you can see this more well and there you go, that's already um, working pretty well so now where there is white so down here and up there it's going to be more blurred and there in the center where it's completely black you can see quite well that it is um, sharp so now you can obviously um, drop another one in here like another white one and to make the contrast higher or just uh, insert a level here to uh, change the gamma contrast and everything so that's a very simple way and there's another way that I'm going to show you now and that is using the dev top. So I'm going to drop the dev top in here. The dev top. And um, drop the render on it. And now, like, so basically, you could also just type uh, render one for the OP here. And then I'm going to change the pixel format to 32 bit float and the dev space to re rearranged from camera space. And on the camera, you usually have this thousand for far. So you go to the view um, tab here, and now you have the far value set to thousand usually. But since the grid is only one by one in this case, I'm gonna um, oops, change this on here on the camera to like three, and then you can just uh, see. This is basically saying how far the camera should look, or how far the camera should render. So um, I, I'm gonna just put this a bit over the minimum. So this is kind of the minimum. So I'm just gonna drop this a bit higher, so like three, I guess. I'm gonna um, right click on here, say copy parameter, go to the depth again, depth again, and um, right click on here and say pass reference. Now you can already see this changing here. It kind of has this foggy feel to it. So the farther farther away we go, the more white it becomes. So it's going to be more blurred. 
So I'm going to attach this to a level and then drop this in here and uh, turn this down a bit. You, you've got to be a bit careful with the Luma Blur because if you uh, have this too high and a lot of things going, uh, going on, it's going to uh, affect your FPS. But for now, it's fine. But like, uh, if you go too high at some point, it's going to affect that. So um, now I'm going to change the contrast. So we just have m yeah, more contrast between the sharp and the blurred value. So this looks pretty good. And um, that's kind of it if you just want to have the near, um, the near uh, area basically uh, sharp and the far f farther area uh, blurred. But now you might want to have the same thing as here. So like the like on a real camera that the near area and the far area is blurred, but like a certain area in the uh, and around the center uh, sharp. So for this, I haven't actually found a perfect way with using just the depth. Uh, so I came up with this idea of just compositing two things together. So I'm going to drop a composite in here, change the operation to difference, and add another level here, and invert this level, and now drop this in here. So now you can see we have a like the white area here, the white area there, and the black area in the center. So now we have the sharp uh, part there in the center, and you can yeah still change the like the the contrast here. And now we can like ch check what the difference is. So I'm gonna put that in here, and now we can see. So this works like both work pretty well, but um, the one using the depth is really using the like the yeah, the camera values, you can definitely see that because for here it's really just one um, stripe kind of going over here. Um, but it also looks really cool. I like working with both. So there's not really one better than the other. Just they, they both work well. So now you can just um, play around with the far, like how far it should, should be. If you put this away, yeah, like where, where the sharp... Um, areas basically. So that's already it. If you have any questions as always uh, let me know and thanks for watching and see you soon.